OMG. It's Lauren Toyota from Hot for Food. It's five o'clock where I am. It's about dinner time. I opened the chat window. Are you there? Hi. Okay. I'm, I don't have a moderator moderating the chat, so I will try to be chatting as I go. But as you know, or may not know, we're doing a recipe live. It's gonna be madness, and I'm kind of limiting my time to 30 minutes because ain't nobody got time to watch this for hours and hours, and normally when I shoot these and I shoot them and edit them, I'm here for four hours. <laughs> but that's not gonna happen today. We're gonna do this in 30 minutes, hopefully, okay? Hello, everybody. Wait, I don't see anything. Oh, God. Okay, are, you, are we live? We're live. I'm assuming we're live. I should probably check it just like real quick. No, everyone's there. Okay, all the messages are coming through. Hey, everyone, everyone's there. Okay, so let's do this. Here's the thing, I've been thinking about this all day, obviously, I've never gone live on the channel. I'm very nervous. <laughs> but I was like, I got this whole pineapple up in here that I used as a prop. I didn't even use the pineapple. So we're gonna use this today, I know that. We're going to make something with this pineapple. And the first thing I thought I wanted to make was, I wanted to cut, this thing in half and make one of those pineapple serving bowls. So let's do that. Oh, did you know you can plant the thing here, the stalk or whatever this is, and you can grow it bigger in your house. Okay. Ooh. Not pretty, but there's our serving bowl. Okay. So, has anyone ever done this before? I went to a restaurant here in Toronto recently and they hollowed this out and they served me fried rice with jackfruit. Yes, they did. So, I'm thinking we're gonna make a fried rice dish. And I don't have time to make rice. I don't have leftover rice in the fridge, so I'm gonna use quinoa because quinoa takes about 10 minutes to cook. So let's get the quinoa going and let's hollow this pineapple out, right? Because we're gonna use that in the fried rice. Now I don't know if anyone can see closely, but it's about to go moldy. In fact, it's already moldy. <laughs> so don't, we're not gonna eat this. I have crushed pineapple in the fridge, but I do think it looks cool served in the pineapple. So even though it's moldy and no one else will be eating this but me, we're still going, we're still gonna use it. We're still gonna use it. That's how gross I am. But the pineapple inside actually looks fine. Let's taste it. It's juicy as fuck. Oh, I am swearing a lot today because earlier we shot a video and it's a collaboration with most popular girls in school and they swear a lot. So, sorry, I'm a little bit in a swearing mood right now. I need my compost bucket. So next Wednesday, there is gonna be a collaboration with the most popular girls in school, their hilarious show on YouTube. <laughs> okay, we're gonna waste some of this, I'm sorry. But it is a little bit soft. What's everyone thinking? Yes, yeah, you can still eat the good flesh inside. You're right. I'm going to I'm going to spoon this out. We're going to put this in the rice or in the quinoa. Okay. Does everyone like this idea? Everyone likes pineapple. Okay. Oh, it's real juicy though. That's the thing. Okay, I think that's Oh my god, that mold is really bad. <laughs> Don't look. Okay, so let's leave that aside. Actually, let's get it on a nice plate. You guys don't see this, but this is where I keep all my junk. That's where I keep all my props. Okay, so we're gonna serve this like this. Ooh, so pretty. Let's leave it here. Okay. And, oh yeah, I gotta get the quinoa going. Okay. Anyone else cooking right now? Anyone else have a whole pineapple they wanna? They want to follow along with. Okay, let's get the quinoa going. Pause on that. Who's here? Shawnee, Michelle Ridley, Jill Pogue, Mushroom Adventure, Cindy Munoz, Sarah Bear, Yanni Singer, Bye Bunny. Hello, 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 hello. Everyone said get rid of the mold. <laughs> we're, not gonna, 
We're not gonna eat that, we're just gonna serve it inside and the inside seems to look okay to me. Okay. The grain drawer's over here, as you know. And we have quinoa. This one's already open. Okay. I never know how much. Bring one cup of quinoa to a boil with two cups of water. That big breath is because I'm so nervous <laughs> that I can barely breathe. Okay, hang on, don't come down here. <laughs> Um, so two cups of water, I'm going to add some salt, a little bit of salt, and we're going to get that boiling over here. I already have my pan out, I figured we'd be using that, so we're going to make the fried rice in there. Boil this here. So you bring it to a boil, oh, and then you cover it. I don't see the point of rinsing quinoa, says Sarah. I think when you rinse it, it puffs it up more. I've noticed when you cook it, it sort of cracks the outer shell a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so let's go to the fridge. This is what we always do in recipe. What a disaster! <laughs> I have so much food though, so this is good because a fried rice is a really good thing to use up all the vegetables that you have. So I have mushrooms from another recipe, cremini's. I've got bell peppers, like a red, a green. Um, I got green onion, that's nice. But red onion's also nice with pineapple. And we're gonna need soy sauce. I have the sniffles. Okay, tamari, gluten-free. <laughs> and probably rice vinegar. You can get seasoned and unseasoned vinegar. I'm going to use the seasoned. That means there's already sugar and salt in it, so that's good. Okay. Mm, I don't think we need anything else right now. Okay. What's everyone saying? Yay, I have the same fridge. Don't you hate the way the water comes out? <laughs> Nobody knows how the water comes out except me. Everyone goes to the ice and then all the ice flies all over the floor. Alrighty. I don't know how much pineapple we're gonna need, but let's get all this stuff out of here. Yes, yell at me later for the plastic bags. Okay. So we just have to chop all this up. I'll try and chat with you while, while we're just chopping away here. So I'm thinking, yeah, we've got Fried pineapple, onion, pepper, and mushroom. And then we'll make a sauce. I think if it's all crushed up, that's fine. Uh, what are you guys saying? I think my stream is behind. What do you mean? I mean, there is a delay, but you should be watching it for real, right? What does that mean, guys? I don't know, tell me if there's any technical difficulties. One thing about the streams is you should, if you're trying to watch, if you're trying to watch at 1080p, downgrade to 720 or 480, because you're gonna get a lag if you try to watch at 1080. Um, so just double check your like viewing settings. Um, there's a delay from like what we're shooting to what you're seeing, but what you're seeing should be all in sync and good to go. Okay. You made me feel hungry, said Irene. Every 
everything is fine. Great. I thought everything was fine because we tested it like eight times. <laughs> Where is John? Okay, well, originally John was going to do this with me, but he's working, so he's not here. Uh, oh, yeah, but everyone thinks we broke up, which we did not. So, clearing the tabloid air, we have not broken up. Almost cut my finger off. Better look at what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, but this is all core and woody. We don't want that. Okay, well, there's a lot of juice here that we don't want, so let's just salt that up for a second. We gotta cut more things. Is it too quiet? I know, sorry, I think I have to talk louder to make up for the fact that we're using a phone, so I will try to speak clearly. I noticed I'm getting a little quiet. Is it weird watching this without music? I thought that might be weird since all the time I have a cool music track in the background, but not today. Quinoa is almost boiling. We're gonna do red onion and we're gonna do green onion because I said so. Let's get this pineapple out of here. I kind of imagine the music there anyway, yeah. I was gonna sing for you, but I should have gotten a hair tie, sorry. Okay. Ugh. Could you please make a vegan corn dog recipe? Well, that is on my to-do list, but today we're not doing that. Oh my God, my camera guy has a hair tie. But what about your hair, Alex? It's okay? All right. Just, what's not gonna look nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the quinoa is boiling. So give it a stir once it boils. Check it out, it's foaming, everyone. And lid on. Turn it down to low. Set that timer for 10 minutes. Okay, let's, let's do this. Alex to the rescue. Alex saves the day. Hi, Alex, says Kyle. Hey guys. What else? Camera guy for the win. Oh my God, my hair. Alex is probably hot, right? <laughs> well, we're not going to show him right now, but he has been on my Insta stories. So maybe we'll show you at the end <laughs> for everybody. Is the shirt, is that the shirt or are you pregnant? What do you think? I'm not fucking pregnant. <laughs> okay. Ain't nobody got time to be pregnant. If you're running a hot for food YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, I guess the shirt, yeah, it's got a bit of billowing in the front, so it makes me look preggers, I guess. And if I was pregnant, whose business is it but mine? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. If you watch my personal YouTube channel under Lauren Toyota, I have a whole video about how I don't want to have kids, so you can go watch that. Hey, we're cutting up peppers now. Let's get our pan going, because we're gonna need that hot. I think we're making good time, it's 5.13. God, today I had to cook on an electric stove on a television show, and I was heating up hot frying oil. It took forever, gas is where it's at. How's my hair look? Okay. <laughs> Can't check myself before I wreck myself. What's she making? Oh yeah, I gotta update you for if you're just joining in. This is called Recipe Live. This is where I make up a recipe on the spot with whatever I have in the kitchen. I actually forgot to tell you that at the beginning. Um, but people who follow Hot For Food have seen this series done before as like an edited segment, but now we're doing it live, which is crazy. Because <laughs> I said earlier, normally these take me four hours to shoot when I'm doing them. Of course, live, you just gotta do it. So red onion, oh God, getting down to the wire with my fingers. And as you can see, when we're live, I'm not setting up the shots to look nice. We're just making a dang mess. This is how I would cook if I was here alone, making my own dinner. It would look more like this, basically. I wouldn't have makeup on. Other than that, it would look like this. Is your hair okay? Do you want another tie? Oh, my hair's great. Okay, I could go get another hair tie. <laughs> I'm not even really cutting things like perfectly the way I would if we were taping this out. So, we're just being fast and rough. That's what she said. 
what time of day do you typically shoot your videos? Uh, usually we start at 10 a.m. and we finish around 4 p.m. and we get two done in that span of time. Yes, it takes a long ass time. Okay, so guys, let's get some oil. Where's my oil now? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, we're gonna do vegetable oil, plain oil. Peanut oil might be nice in this dish. Not using a lot. We're not really ready to go here, but we're just gonna cook out of sequence. Okay, onions in. Some of the peppers flying in there too. I better talk louder because that sizzle is going to be loud. Oh yeah, the cookbook. So next week, stay tuned because we'll be launching the cookbook online with the cover photo, the way it looks, and pre-ordering. So I'll, there'll be more about that if you just follow me on social media. Let's get our spoon and stir. Now what else do we add to a fried rice with pineapple? We're probably going to want chili flakes. Spice drawer chili flakes. Not sure what else yet. Let's just add everything in. I don't really know. Let's just get that in there. I wanted to do red pepper also. Quickly, quickly, quickly. This People are really excited for the cookbook. Oh yeah. Okay, so the cookbook officially comes out February 27th, 2018. Um, but you'll be able to pre-order it next week and there'll be special things if you pre-order it. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. You're definitely gonna want it. It's mostly new recipes and a few classics. Some of the classics are slightly revamped or have new little twists and tips attached to them. Don't make fun of my knife skills. <laughs> Actually, my knives are so dull, they're dangerous. They need to be sharpened. Okay. Ooh, it's hot in here. When we shoot, we have to turn the air conditioning off because it's too loud. So Alex and I are sweating our butts off right now. We have some requ uh, requests to add garlic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course we're going to add garlic. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Okay, let's throw this in. You want, okay, if you're doing fried rice, you want to get the heat up medium high because you want to get, you know, a hot, you need to fry, you need to fry fast and hot and you want to get some caramelization happening. So this isn't, this is going to be in here for a while and it can stand to be in the heat for a long time. So we'll just let that sit and you don't want to stir too much because that causes steam and you're not steaming, you're frying. over from another recipe I did. Oh, there's some hair in there. <laughs> Get the, I mean, you could eat the stems, but I'm just taking them off right now. Then I can chop them really fast. So we're not going to add any, I know I mentioned earlier, I said I had eaten this um, pineapple fried rice with jackfruit at a restaurant in Toronto recently, so that's what inspired me to do this. But we're not going to add jackfruit. We're just going to add mushrooms and veggies. But what I think we are going to add to the sauce is something a little special. Let me get it in one second. Now these shrink. They look quite big right now, but they're going to shrink in the pan. And so let's get those in there too. Add cashews. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fun. Requesting ingredients. Now, the cashews are raw, not roasted. They need to be roasted. Am I really going to roast cashews right now? We're at 19 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh my god, we're going to be here for longer than half an hour. Okay, well that's fine. No, the people seem to be enjoying it. Okay, I wanted to keep it to 30 minutes, but I don't think it's going to happen. We have 2.1 thousand people watching right cool. now. Cool, that's good. Oh yeah, ginger, vodka. <laughs> I'm not going to add egg. Someone said vegan egg. No, okay. Here's what I wanted to add. You guys see me talk about this on my own personal channel, Penny Candy Jam. This is my friend's jam company. They make this jam, pineapple jackfruit jam. It's just fruit and a little bit of raw cane sugar. We're gonna add this to the sauce. Hell yeah. Also, you guys want 
nuts? I don't know if you can hear me from over here. <laughs> what about almonds? I mean, I like the idea of cashews, but they're raw. Ugh, do I have toasted cashews? No. Hmm. Okay, we all got time for dilly dally here. <laughs> what about pepitas? Those will look nice. They're green. Everyone seems mixed about almonds. Yeah, they're all mixed. Okay, I don't want raw cashews in there. They need to be roasted, and I don't want to roast them right now. So I'm going with pepitas or pumpkin seeds. Pepitas. And ginger. I don't know if I have ginger. Sorry, it's all over the place here. Mm. Oh, garlic. Yes, we have garlic. How many cloves? I'm going to go with three. One, two, three. Oops. Okay. Three cloves of garlic. Oops, maybe two. <laughs> I like almonds tofu. Toast the cashews. I don't know. How long is that going to take? I guess I can toast them. You guys are challenging me here. I need that garlic. <laughs> okay, normally I use my garlic crusher, but... I'm just going to do it by hand right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're sizzling away. Um, worldwide ship the shipping on the cookbooks. Oh, uh, so right now I think we just have a full North American release on the cookbook. Uh, I think if you enter a contest or a giveaway, oh, the quinoa's done. Like if, okay, well anyway, there will be a chance for people to win worldwide next week and probably at other opportunities, but right now I don't think you can order it worldwide. Okay. Unless you want an, a Kindle version, maybe you can get that off Amazon. Right? Why wouldn't you be able to? Ooh, this looks tasty. So one thing I always do is drop food down here and then I have to pick it up and put it back in. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, the next, someone said, please try to get the book in the UK. That would be the next territory that it comes out in, for sure. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that, but. Should we get the pineapple in now? Yeah. Maybe some of it, and leave some of it fresh. I don't know. Okay, quinoa off. Timer off. We're going all in. Maybe I want to put some on the top. Okay, so just internal dialogue live. Ugh. So again, don't stir too much. Toasting cashews. Did I decide yet? Great camera angles. What about seasoning? Yes, we do have to add the seasoning. I'm glad you're here to keep me on my toes because I'm losing it a little bit. Okay, chili flakes are going in. You can adjust that to your liking. I think this is about half a teaspoon. Is Alex vegan? Mm, Not no. yet. But he, he tries everything I make, and he usually likes it. I am making a pineapple fried rice, but with quinoa. And this is all part of a series I call Recipe, where I make it up. So this isn't planned. I don't know. I've never made this. We're making it up as we go with things I have in my kitchen. OK. Quite liquidy, so we want that heat high. If you want to toast the cashews, we want to go convection. Four, 425, because my oven's off, start. But you probably do it at 400. There we go. That's a large 
baking sheet. You don't need that large of one. We'll just toast like, I don't know, half a cup. And my oven heats up pretty fast, so I'm just going to throw them in now. Yeah, we're almost at our half hour mark, so this we're going to be here for an hour. <laughs> Originally, I was thinking half an hour. Are people dropping off like flies? No, we're still sitting strong at 2.1. Nice. 2,100 viewers. That's cool. Okay. So what else? Chili flakes. I know you said ginger. We got to add ginger. I don't have fresh ginger. So in this case, let's just do dried. This probably isn't really the order in which I would have done everything because I'm kind of just going as I go, but... If you're making food up on the spot, this is kind of what happens. If I had fresh ginger, I would have thrown it in with the garlic. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little bit of chili powder. So I think this should have a bit of a kick. It's looking good. I don't know that I want this to cook much more. Hmm. Too bad you can't smell it. Cilantro. Oh god, you guys are so good. I have cilantro on the fridge. <laughs> ah. Oh, and we need limes. This is weird. It's going to be Asian-y and like, I don't know. Oh, we need lime zest, I think. everything. It's a fusion dish because we're going to add soy sauce in that sauce. I know we are. Okay, I'm going to add some lime zest because I think that's going to be nice. We'll add juice at the end maybe or once the quinoa is in there. We're a little hot. I'm going to turn that down because it's pretty much cooked. I don't really want to cook. Look, we've lost the color in the green pepper. That's my bad. I wanted that to be brighter green. Okay. So the zest of a lime. How's our quinoa? Ooh, perfecto, look at that. How's all the steam? Okay, quinoa's perfect. Now, if we fry it, I wonder if it'll get crispy. I'm gonna quickly chop this green onion because I also want that in there. Yo, don't forget about the cashews in the oven, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't want to cook these too much. So we'll just wait on adding that. What else? Curry powder. Mm, I don't know about that. Let's make our sauce. I think we don't really need to make it in a separate dish. I think we can just get it going. So, well, let's make it in a separate dish. So, soy tamari sauce. Yeah? Quinoa is dry and flavorless and absorbs all the sauce, so make quite a bit of sauce. My friend's jam, pineapple jackfruit jam from Penny Candy Jam. There's our sweetness factor. Here's our acid, rice vinegar. Okay, making it up. We're also gonna add the lime juice right in there. Here we go. Can you add in some tofu? I guess I could, but... Yes, Penny Candy Jam is from Toronto. If you live in the States, you won't be able to get it at the moment. We have vegan bacon, Hawaiian style. That's good. Oops. <laughs> Stop distracting me, everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. We're going to whip this up and then taste it. We're going to need what else? We already have spice from the chilies in there and everything. So I'm blocking it because I don't want to splash you. Don't forget about the cashews. Guys, try eating crushed up tofu with salt and vinegar chips. 
Crushed up tofu with salt and vinegar chips. Okay, that's strange, but I like your style. Candidly, Claudine says, I went to New York City and went to Beyond Sushi. I guess she saw it in my What I Ate in a Day, which is on my personal YouTube channel. Okay, let's taste this sauce. I'm getting sidetracked. Don't forget about the sesame seeds. Sesame seeds and cashews, guys? Coconut milk? No. I don't think it needs coconut milk, but we'll see. Yes, more jam, though. It was too much tamari in there, so we got to overcompensate now. But it is good. So this is similar to like a sweet and sour sauce. You saw the crispy sweet and sour tofu I made a couple weeks ago. It's kind of like an alternate version. And actually sweet and sour sauce normally has pineapple or pineapple juice in it. And I just didn't do that for that. But you could, instead of sugar, add pineapple, crushed pineapple. Delicious. Okay, quinoa in. I'm gonna try and get this to fry like fried rice so heat's going back up. You know what? It's okay because fried rice or fried whatever has really overcooked veggies in it. So I think it's okay. We're at a medium heat right now, everyone. We're, we're having a lot of people yell about the cashews. Okay, yeah, don't worry. You haven't been in there that long. It's only been five minutes. It started lowercase and now it's uppercase. <laughs> wow. What a mess. I can't wait to show the mess that I truly make when I'm cooking. Okay. That looks good. Wait till the cashews are in it. Yes, tofu would be good. If you'd like to make this with tofu or, or tofu bacon, that would be good too. Let's add some sauce to caramelize it up. Half the sauce now. Save some at the end. Having a lot of requests to see Snickle Fritz. Yeah, where is he? I don't know. He's hiding. Hiding. It's too loud and rambunctious for him. This made a lot. This is serving, that was one cup of quinoa. So this is like four servings or six servings, depending on how much you like eating. Cashews are going to be great in it. Okay. What else? green onion we're gonna wait I don't know if it even needs more sauce that's a lot of sauce tasty taste I'm gonna try and get a crispness on the quinoa why is my nose running you better go catch it oh yeah okay what I'm gonna do so we're gonna lay this out flat like this, see if it's a bit of a pancake. The heat is at an eight on my gas stove and it's gonna get crispy on the bottom. So don't touch it. Um, I need to get a Kleenex. Pause one second. Oh, my hair looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, cilantro coming in. That is some beauty cilantro. What's everyone saying? Let's pause. We want our thing to get crispy. Our nuts are okay. John would have been proud of that joke. Yep, yeah, you saw that. Yep, yeah, that's why it's I'm It's really weird. John and Alex are both very punny. I definitely need to come to the UK. Show yourself, Alex. Wait till the end. It's a teaser. <laughs> that is way more than two servings. I never said it was two. I said it was four or six. Um... <sighs> Will I do another live recipe? Probably. I mean, it's going pretty well so far, I think. Um, is that how you keep cilantro fresh? Yes. This is my little trick. I, if you watch my Insta stories on Hopper Food quite a bit, people, I explain this is how I keep them fresh because this is how I need to keep this herbs fresh for food styling and, of course, the amount of food that I need to make and take photos of. If I was at home, I probably wouldn't use these plastic bags, like if I didn't have a reason to keep. This lasts like two weeks like this. You fill up a glass of water, you put the stems in, and you cover it in a bag, and you it lasts sometimes longer than two weeks. It's crazy. With the water gets low, just add more water. Now some people are like, you don't need the bag, just leave it like this. 
No, you need the bag. For some reason, the bag just keeps it looking like this. I bought this five days ago. It looks like I just got it. And that's what I need when I'm like doing multiple recipes a week and I need it to last a long time. I was growing it in my garden, but cilantro, I can never keep alive and it died. Okay. Oh God, I keep having to sneeze. Lauren, the nuts, I know. Oh, <laughs> that was fast. Holy shit, those are perfect. I mean, they're a little toasty. <laughs> in the sink either. This sounds like it's getting crispy on the bottom. There's a cat hair. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I want more of that. Do you see that? That's what we want. So just put that back. <laughs> okay, what else is happening over here? Let's cut the cilantro so we're ready to go and plate this thing. Thank you to whoever said, Lauren, the nuts because we almost had a fire. So pepitas, those still could be nice. I never call them that. I don't even know why I'm saying that right now. I always say pumpkin seeds. All right. Uh, also, don't wash the cilantro before you do this. Wash it as you go. So I just tear it off and then I wash it. I want one more. I love, I know there's a lot of cilantro haters out there, but like cilantro is one of my favorites. I almost want more than that, but. Okay, mind the cashews. Just, I just rinse it off. Whoa, those almost got ruined. I think those are okay. Okay, here we are. Cilantro and green onion can go in as soon as we toss that and it's crispy. I think it is there. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Yeah, crisp. Oh, come check this out. A little burnt. Wait, where is it? What? It's there, I saw it. <laughs> the caramelization, look. It's a little burnt, but we're okay. That's good. Oh, the nuts, they're over. <laughs> Actually, that was the preheating getting up. That, that happened before the oven was even fully hot. Okay, this looks good. Let's add in the onion and all this weird stuff. Onion, cilantro, stems and all, I don't care. You can eat the stems. Okay, well we might not be a full, a full hour, we might be like 45 minutes. Yeah. Why is the air kicking on? Because it's so hot for food in here. I think it's just a little noisy if the air, air conditioning goes on. Okay, cilantro's in. Oh, look at that. This is good. Okay, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? <sighs> Abort cashews. I think they look okay. I'm using them. I'm turning this heat off. I think we've got the kind of toasty quinoa that we want happening. Not all parts, but enough that you're going to get that taste in it. That charry nice taste. Okay, off. And let's handle these cashews with care. Wipe off the board because the board is wet. Very wet and messy.
Do we chop them or leave them whole? Quick, chop or leave whole. They're good char, lightly burnt. They're burnt, they're not burnt. Everyone's fighting. <laughs> whole, whole, oh, chop, 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 chop. Okay, everyone wants me to chop them. Here we go. I, I'm not gonna chop them too much. I'm gonna roughly chop because you want to know that they're cashews and not peanuts. And I think you're getting the idea here. Here we go. Tasty, tasty. Let's put some in and top with some. Okay, about half in like that. This looks delicious. Let's plate it in our pineapple. Oh, mint! You gotta put mint, I think. Yeah. Right? Everyone said yes, mint. Yes! I think the mint will look nice almost just on top. So here's, that's where we're gonna put the garnish. Garnish piece. And let's chop up a little bit now. Everyone's like, no mint. <laughs> no, I want mint. You don't have to put it in if you're gonna make this at home. Just a little bit. Look, it's like a half a teaspoon of fresh mint. Just a hint of mint. A hint of mint. Mint works with pineapple. Yes, exactly. Okay, here we go. Just, just a wee bit on the top. We don't even really need to, we'll just mix it in just a little bit. Okay, well I didn't overcook everything. I think everything's just about right. The green pepper is a little bit browner than I would normally want it, but it's okay. Okay. You guys ready? It's time to assemble. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, I won't sing. This looks cool. Let's put some cilantro around the edge. Like this. Now this isn't clean cilantro, but just imagine it is. We could even put some lime around the edge, which we're gonna do. Okay. Let's. This is really hot. So you got your juicy moldy pineapple. <laughs> if you've just joined, you will have realized that this pineapple was moldy, but the inside was fine, just the outside is not. This looks epic. I was reading something today saying you shouldn't say epic anymore. Whatever. Okay, it smells so good with the cilantro and the mint. Wow. You want it pouring out, but you do want to see the sides of the pineapple. Okay. So you can see how much is left here. You could serve it like this. You could have multiple ones and serve multiple people. Yeah, I think this is like for two people. Okay, and let's top with a little bit more nuts. A little bit more pineapple on the top, like this. A little bit more nuts. No, that's okay. Ooh. Sorry, I have to get quiet while I prepare my prepare my art. <laughs> quiet. Oh, you could have drizzled a little more sauce on there. We'll do that right now. Everyone liking this? Seems like there's not enough mold for two people. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess some extra green onion would have looked nice on the top. I have like a few straggles left. There we go. And our garnish. Wait, let's put it out here so you can see it out. Okay. Da -da -da. Oh my 
god. Pineapple fried rice quinoa with cashews. <laughs> Pineapple fried quinoa mm. with cashews. How do you guys like that one? How do you like them pineapples? Gorgeous, nice plate. Burnt cashews. <laughs> Hot for mold. The <gasps> lime, oh yeah, the lime. You know what I like doing? This is just my little trick you'll see it in photos. I squeeze, this is for serving, you squeeze. And then in photos, this looks cute, like a squeezed lime on the side, like right there. Does that look bad? I can't see. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Chop pineapple pen. What? What's happening? Hot for mold. Awesome. You rock. Continue this to a mukbang. What knife are you using? This knife is from Ikea. I guess we're at 545. We might as well go for another 15 minutes. Yeah. Just came here. Did I miss something? Yeah. You missed me make from scratch this dish. Didn't know what I was going to do. Didn't have a plan. It's a pineapple fried rice, but with quinoa, cashews, fresh mint, cilantro, lime juice, homemade sauce. The sauce has uh, the sauce has soy sauce, rice vinegar, lime juice, and this pineapple jackfruit jam, which is my friend's jam company, and it's delicious. And that's all the sauce has in it. We added chili flakes, chili powder, um, ginger, garlic, red onion, green onion. Red and, bell pepper, red and green bell pepper, pineapple, and mushrooms. Pretty easy, right? Okay. <sighs> what are you guys saying? Be my mom, taste it. Oh yeah, hello. Okay, I'm just need to just, often what happens before I taste my food is we have a whole cleanup when we're not live, but we don't have time for that right now. <laughs> okay, time to taste my dish. Mmm. I also need to take a photo, so I don't really want to dig into this because I would like to take a nice proper photo of this. Oh, no, that's okay. We'll do it after. Alex is wondering if you want. I guess we could take the picture now. Where is, is the camera here? Whatever, let's try. Oh, but everything's such a mess. Whatever, let's show people. Yeah. Okay, well, this is amazing. Thank you for the um, suggestion of the cashews. It turned out really good, needed those. It needed the nutty roundness, roundness taste of it. I want to dig in more, but I want to take a photo. Let's just, we did stir cashews in here and we stirred everything in here. It's really good guys. Okay, since we have 10 minutes left or so till six o'clock, I'm gonna show you what I do. Now that it's ready to go, and we still have pretty good daylight here. We put this on the floor. Now, my lights are on, but I think it's okay because we're a little low light right now. Make sure everything looks nice and not messy. I like the way it looks though. Am I missing something? Just add a couple more nuts. Round out the sides here. I'm gonna show you how you take a photo. Okay, silence, I'm just kidding. I'll try to keep talking, but usually I'm so focused. Mm. I just did a pineapple uh, recipe where I used this tea towel. I think it looks nice with this plate, so it's very similar, but it's, it's far away from each other, the two videos. Okay, there's a little sticker showing on this plate that didn't come off, so we, want, we don't want that in the photo. I'll just shoot from the left side. That's where the line yeah, is anyway. Yeah, that's true, you're right. The, 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 so the daylight's gonna go on this side. Okay, we just cover it with the cilantro. No big. My line's there, that looks good. We might need more, but. People are asking about the microwave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, I had to do recipes in a microwave, so I borrowed John's microwave from the studio. So, coming soon to a channel near you. So, I use all daylight. I don't light my photos. I get all my daylight from here. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> we got a card in here? Yeah. My camera's almost kaput. Oh, we have your lens, though. I'll 
I'll do it. My hands are mostly clean. Team effort. Team effort. Hang on. It's like... I'm just going to keep it away from the food. The button has been released. So we're using a Canon 70D with a 24 to 70 lens. That's what I shot the cookbook on. Right in this corner. Okay. What? <laughs> Well, it's just popping up now. Hashtag pray for Alex. I'm like, that's hilarious. Pray for Alex. Good. Okay, the lighting. Okay, if you can see, can everyone see this? Yep. The lighting is too bright and the color temperature is too blue, so we're going to warm it up. We're going to warm it up. we got to go quite warm. 57 is daylight, if anybody knows this. It actually looks pretty good at 57. I tend to shoot a little blue. That goes to 125, and our ISO is at 320. That's pretty good. I always shoot, let me try and show you this way. Oh, we're a little, we're a little out of space. We're just missing a utensil. It's a little hot, so just fixing my settings again. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I don't think my camera's a bit busted. Normally I shoot with the viewfinder because I find it easier, but I can't right now. Is this even exciting? The sirens are going. Eating a moldy piece of pineapple off the floor. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Sharp as shit. See that? See that? See that texture? You don't see the mold, guys. Only See, you only know that because I told you, but you'd see this on the blog and you'd be none the wiser. Look at, so that would be the photo on the blog. I'd crop it, I'd brighten it a bit more. I still have to edit it. I think we're just missing a utensil. You know, I think I'm gonna add a spoon in there. I don't like that tea towel either. So here is normally where I just make some adjustments. We get rid of this tea towel, because I don't like it. I think it needs yellow. Yeah, that looks nicer. Well, my secrets, just kidding, it's so basic. But you can make it look nice, like, very simply, I find. This is honestly how fast I do this. I don't spend a lot of time dilly dally dicking around with the styling. I just like, whatever I feel in the moment, I just get it done. It's so hot. Okay, we need a utensil. What am I gonna use? We're gonna use. I don't have a lot of nice utensils. That is something I would like more of. Some people are recommending a nice wooden spoon. You like a wooden spoon. See, I don't have a nice sized proportional wooden spoon. I use these a lot. You've probably seen these. I don't have a spoon that's proportional for the photo. That's the problemo. This is also a disaster over here. I have these. That one might look okay. Oh, it's okay. They look a bit piddly beside it. Oh, it is a big pineapple. I know. Okay, fine. Let's just take another photo because I need another option. I don't like that tea towel. This is pretty good. Also, one thing I'm missing is a reflector. But... Whatever, it's going to be good enough. It's going to be good enough for the cover photo on YouTube. The lighting right now is pretty interesting because it's like... It's brighter from this side than it is from the window. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll probably shoot a couple more when you leave. So that's how it's done, people. <laughs> okay, let's let's wrap her up. Let's see what people are saying. We got five more minutes. Chopsticks. Oh yeah, would you eat that with chopsticks? You could. I like people suggesting red might look a bit. Actually, that kind of looks neat. Thank you. I don't think I'll do this right now, but when you leave, I'm going to try this. <laughs> These could look interesting. All the color. Yep. Like a fiesta. Oh, yeah, like pineapple boat for two. Okay, that maybe is, is where we're going to go. Feed Alex. Uh, hey, Alex. Here's for the I, shocking I'll take, reveal. I'll take, oh, I was going to take the camera. Oh, I was just going to go, hey, guys, it's me and Lauren. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm just gonna give you some of this and like some of this sauce. This is such a weird angle to shoot from. And some of the 
cashews, get it done, though. some of the pineapple. Okay. Get you a clean fork. And do you want me to take the camera? Sure, we'll do that. There we go. Okay, so this is what we've all been spending an hour watching Lauren make. Almost start a fire, good times. And, and you guys already might know, some of you know, I'm not actually vegan. I'm not against being vegan. I like vegan food. It's just not really something that I have been doing. Uh, but you know, Lauren's been trying to convince me and each week it gets harder and harder, but here, let's give this a try. But you like most of what I make. Oh, I love everything that you make. Yeah. That's really You're good. getting a lot of he's so cute. Oh, why thank you. Step by step, Alex. I, I, oh yeah, step by step. And we're, like, you can be honest if you don't like it. No, no, no. I'm always honest, yeah, you yeah. kidding? It's great. Like, the pineapple, really sweet. Like, the mold is fantastic. <laughs> no, you can't There's taste no the mold. mold. You can't taste the mold. But no, it's really good. Like, typically, you know, I don't like mushrooms, but the texture actually works yeah. in this dish, so. But I, I have fed you so many mushrooms. Right? We did those yep. deep fried mushrooms, the buffalo oyster mushrooms were the first mushrooms, I mean, were the, was the first video he ever shot. So yeah, <laughs> Alex is a daddy, what is, is that good or bad? I don't know. I'm more of an uncle. What's a daddy? I'm filled with sexual. terrible jokes. Okay, well, we'll yeah, just. Yeah, hopefully not. We don't, want, we don't want to go there, even though it is hot for food. He seems yeah. honest. Okay, dad. No, everyone says this mom and dad thing. John's still your dad. I'm still your okay. mom. John is still. What are king. you? What are you? You're this. You're not I, the I'm son. I'm like the <laughs> awkward step cousin. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm I'm that uncle that's at every wedding just shooting video and no one knows why he's there. Yes. Oh, he said, "Is he single?" Keep watching Hopper Food to find out. Oh, he's being coy. He's being coy. <laughs> An uncle figure. Okay, <laughs> you're the uncle. Yeah. He's not a drunk uncle, though. No, <laughs> he's no. A, he's a fun uncle. Okay, so this has been Recipe Live, and we made pineapple fried rice with quinoa. I'm handing this back to Alex while we're on yeah. selfie cam. Ooh. Say bye. See you guys. It was good talking with you, but now here's Lauren. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first time we've done this, and... Uh, we'll probably do it again because honestly, no editing, score, and uh, everything seems to go smoothly. And I cook pretty quickly, which is great. And uh, I think that you liked seeing some behind the scenes. I showed you the photos. And uh, okay, that's it. This will be up on the channel, obviously, to watch again and again. And the recipe I will post on the blog, uh, but it's probably gonna take me like a week. But you'll see on Instagram that I've posted it on the blog. So follow at Hot for Food on Instagram. Uh, stay tuned for cookbook information coming at you next Wednesday, as well as a collaboration with the most popular girls in school, which is uh, airing on the channel next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Bye! Everyone's saying bye, bye, love you all, thank you for chatting. Sorry I didn't get to talk that much to you and answer your questions, but we'll do a Q&A episode coming up in the future. Okay, bye, love you.